Good, mo good morning. Oh my, the camera looks a little bit weird. Am I? <laughs> is my head where it's supposed to be? <laughs> Great. Now that is a question <laughs> for the ages. Is my head is where my it's supposed head where to be? It's supposed to be. I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of, somebody asked me where I got my smile, and I said I got my smile from my mama. I got my smile from my mama. And I actually found a picture of my mama. There you go. That's me. I actually found a picture of my mama in at Minute Maid in Orlando, and it was her just standing out there and she had this same smile and I laughed and you I have thought, your mama's smile yeah I thought that is so funny because I don't have much more of my mama my mama was um, tougher than me um, smarter than me by like a million times and and she did all the things that I always wanted to do can you type fast okay I can't I took typing in eighth grade, I think. Would that have been about the time they gave you typing? Mm -hmm. I didn't pay attention in class. I was too busy doing something else. I was worried about this and this. And this. You know, what shoes was I going to wear with that dress? Right. And, you know, mm -hmm. I wasn't worried about the important stuff. But mother excelled at things that I didn't excel at. But then I have excelled at things that other people haven't. So I'm okay. I'm okay, but I, yeah, right. I look at things yeah, right. that Mama did, and I think, I wish I could have been more like Mama on that one. I wish I'd been. But one of the things that Mama could do, um, she loved to dance. She loved to dance. And I said, um, if you are at a stage of your life that you're just thinking, I'm just bored. Well, just put on a good record from the 60s or the 70s. And, and throw dance. your back out. And <laughs> just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> you might not walk for a few but days, but you're going to enjoy. good yeah. dance and yeah. music. And if you want to dance yeah. with yourself, but Mama would often do that. She would be in her kitchen jitterbag, and I'm like, what are you doing? See, I love to dance. I just can't dance well. I've never been able oh, wow. to couples dance. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. no. Mm -mm. No, because somebody has to lead. I'm into that whole freestyle interpretive yeah. postmodern <laughs> yeah. speaking stuff. of freestyle yeah. interpretive Stephen came and spent time with you he did and you had a great time and I got to spend some time with him and um, he's excited about his new education and mm -hmm. moving on and he's already well into his new semester for this year yep and um, that came about because COVID layoff so if you've been laid off if you don't have a job if you're looking to improve yourself a lot of people took advantage of, I don't have a job now, so let's go back to school. If they can do it without running up a bunch of student debt, that mm, would be nice. That would be but nice. Yeah, he's on the GI Bill, and possibly the next semester they will have both in-class and online mm -hmm. classes, but for now it's, it's all online again. Right, right. And it's kind of weird because um, Georgia, we have kind of calm things down and people aren't wearing masks as mm -hmm. much and if I show up I was at a closing the other day and and both the people I had on a mask well they have an elderly mom who's almost 90 and I'm sure that's why and I get all of that and uh, Catherine which we got to say a shout out to Catherine she has been very very sick for a few days tested negative for COVID so it's the the full-blown flu and the full-blown flu has been a rough one this year. Flu so. is worse than <laughs> what I'm hearing anyway is this Omicron mm -hmm. is mild. Flu, flu is bad. Flu yeah, is hurt. Yeah, flu yeah. hurts. Yeah. Well, she's been very, very sick, and and so um, so many people have been sick and had things happening. But I've got a praise report. Selena had her first chemo on Monday, and then yesterday she had a good day. Um, they are managing her pain, which is really, really good because she was really dealing with a lot of pain, but. CD sales have been fantastic, and to each and every one of you, thank you. Today, as I drop you off in Jasper, I'm going to do my route, and I'm going to be dropping off CDs at different places. And um, sadly, we are out of number four, which was um, the one they had on the black and gold outfits, and I had on a black and gold outfit the other day in honor of them. But that CD has sold out, so I chose the winner. But, um, you know, I'm so thankful to everybody who has called me, messaged me, and if I haven't gotten back to you, you are on my list to get to. But we're going to run out of CDs, and I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful because she, as you battle cancer, you can't do your normal jobs. And your whole job is to beat and battle cancer and to come out on the other side a winner, and she's going to. And so for me to be able to do this, and I told her yesterday, I said, Selena, this is a God thing. 
you brought me from a deep, deep depression because I am able to make a difference in your life. And I said, you don't know how much I appreciate this. And every single person I deliver to is so happy to help. And I love that. I love that about our communities. Your mama, who lives in Mapleton, bought a CD. She's never heard of Angel Spirit, but she bought a CD to help somebody. <clears throat> and I think that's something. Why would you hurt somebody when you can help somebody? And, and I think we all have to look at life like that. You make the right choice. You make the right choice. And um, you lend a hand or you, whatever you can do to make a difference in somebody's life. And people are cooking for them. And I'm sure That's somebody's great. coming in and helping them clean. Somebody, somebody is volunteering to do all, all the things that they need. And that's what, I think that's what the book says we should do. Does the book say we should help our, help others and love our neighbors? And it says true religion is helping widows and <coughs> orphans. And yeah, helping others, yeah. of course. Yeah. And uh, Jesus also says, you know, you'll, even the heathens help their own, mm -hmm. you know, they help their own mothers and their own children. <coughs> How much more God will help us? Yeah, absolutely. You know, because God loves us even more than you love your own family. Yeah. And if you have that love of the Lord, mm -hmm. you want to, you mm -hmm. want to help. Mm -hmm. And you know, people have different, when you talk about cooking, nobody wants me to cook for them. You know, <laughs> it's like, thank you for praying, don't cook. Uh, you know, whatever your talent is, whatever your, your, your specialty mm -hmm, is, and mm -hmm. sometimes it is just making a donation for those of us who don't cook. And right, right. you know, yeah. you, you had those almost pralines at Christmas. That yes. She, were almost one pralines. Year, one year she made me the most amazing <laughs> they so pralines. Good. They were so fantastic. But they were addictive. And literally, I think it drove my sugar over the edge. Yeah, so I I'm sure. I couldn't limit them. And so the next time she made them, they failed. And it was God saying, your friend doesn't need those pralines. Yeah, don't, yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't even scrape those off the wax paper. So, yeah. No. Yeah. It was crazy. But but, but there's yeah. always some kind, some little kindness mm -hmm, you can do. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just a, a message on Facebook. Because yeah. everybody's on social media these days. Yeah. And, you know, when it's... <coughs> um, Something positive. You know, just that little caring heart sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you look and see, wow, there have been 20 people that have me on their mind and in mm -hmm, their prayers. Mm -hmm. That's that's a big deal. That's, it, that's yeah. it. Well, we know that prayer works because our executive producer here, Danny Hensley, his wife has been fantastic in specific prayers. Please pray these specific things to God. And so we have shared that list in the past and we, once again, he's going through two more chemo treatments. So would you please pray for uh, number one, uh oh, number one, the doctors to um, go according to God's will and the doctors to do everything they should do and could do. And um, we're going to get Danny back, you know, before long. He's going to be back good as new. But it's taken, <clears throat> you know, almost a year now. It's, it's, it's um, I think maybe March or April he got his first diagnosis. Yeah. And um, the doctors didn't give him much hope and he's doing well. He's doing well. And so we're going to say same specific prayers for Selena. And hopefully we will get her through it. And, and thankful um, Dawn and Selena are talking and conversing about uh -huh. what they can do to help each other, Good. which is really cool. Well, and if I can too, uh, uh, a shout out for prayers for my friend. Her name's Sherry, spelled like yours. Mm -hmm. Her husband, David Maddox, uh, is going through some cancer treatment and is going to have some scans today. Mm -hmm. And my prayer is that everything's going to come back all clear. Right. And confirm God right. has healed him. Yeah. So for David, yeah. Yeah. I appreciate and and some that's prayers. what we're looking for. You know, we are we are looking to pray for each other and to lift each other and and not to to harm anybody. You know, yeah. don't hurt anybody and don't be negative and just be super positive. I was watching Leah as Tim was battling COVID. And Tim didn't just have COVID, he has a heart issue. And so I could see the hurt in her face. And so when I would leave her, I would have to pray harder for her than for Tim because without him, I just can't imagine her yeah. life. Yeah. And and I think about if God were to take your mate immediately like this and you're gone and you're done, death is final. Everything else you can change, you can work through, you can overcome. There's hope. She yeah. kept saying, what if this? And, and I could see it in her eyes. And I thought, man, that's, that's well, such a Well, you know, there's scripture that says that the, the, what you have 
feared, you know, that mm -hmm. which you have feared has come upon you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can draw negative to you. Mm -hmm. You know, if mm -hmm. all you concentrate on is the fear and the mm -hmm. negative, mm -hmm. um, you know, things go fearfully and right. negatively. Right. Yeah. Right. And I remember when you're talking about, of course, when I lost Don, one of the pivotal moments in my recovery from, you know, the grief and the trauma was sitting there and it just occurred to me, what if it had been me that died mm -hmm. and he was sitting here feeling this? And I was just overwhelmed with, I couldn't stand the thought of him hurting that much. Hurting that much. Yeah. I yeah. couldn't. Yeah. And I guess that's when you know, yeah. you know, I really love that man. I really care for him because I wouldn't you want always, him to hurt this much. you know, yeah. it's, it's normal to say, God, why didn't you take me? Why didn't you mm -hmm. take me? Mm -hmm. And then that occurred to me, what if he had, and what if Don was sitting here feeling like I feel right now? Mm -hmm. Again, it, no, I could not bear the thought mm -hmm. of him hurting mm -hmm. like that. I yeah. just couldn't bear it. Yeah. And I thought, well, you know, yeah. move, move beyond this because yeah. at least he's not feeling this kind of pain because right. it's, it's, it's a pain, you know. And you know, sadly, his mom didn't even know that he passed. No. And, and because that was kind of protection for her. She well, didn't agree. you know, she, she did and she didn't. Um, when she was standing beside his casket and said goodbye, in that moment, she knew but you know when she turned around and left the room she forgot mm -hmm. so and that mm -hmm. you know that's kind of a, a blessing for her yeah but i spoke over her the same words that she spoke over don when she was leaving the house when darby's came and got her that morning mm -hmm. uh, the same thing she said to him was you were much loved and most welcome mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's just you know yeah. Yeah. um hard times are part of life yep. and yep. every and that you know what i brought today was a, a word of encouragement uh -huh. because we be yeah we do yeah. need to be encouraged. We do need and and it's Don sent me a message at one o'clock this morning. Don and I we message late at night and um, don't message it, me. Well, you can message me at one. <laughs> yeah, you can, can message me at one. Don't yeah. message me at three yeah, though. Yeah 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 yeah. Uh, it's funny. I, I found something. Okay. This is this is so me because you know I'm always in high gear and Evelyn said yesterday I handed her my phone. We're headed down to Hopewell. We're going to do this deal. We're going to do it quickly. We're going to sell two massive pieces of property. We're going to get it done. And and I kept picking up my phone. Well, you don't pick up your phone and drive. I have hands free in my car. But then I would think about something. I said, take my phone and hold it away from me. And she says, you've got to concentrate on driving. I said, I am. So this is, this is to Evelyn. The speed of the leader determines the rate of the pack. <laughs> So, and often I get in high gear. Honey, I have been there, done that. The speed I have, of the leader yeah, determines yeah, the rate of yeah, the pack. So yeah. that might be me, yes. Yeah. And I love this one, and I keep going back to this. Success is just a matter of luck. Ask any failure. There you go. Ask any failure, because sometimes I think, well, it's all going to work out perfectly. And then it doesn't, and I'm like, what? What do you mean? Well, and luck is good. You know, I've encountered, yeah. you know, yeah. right luck. time, right place, mm -hmm. that kind of thing, and it's well, great. Well, we're going to try to help a young fella who uh, wrote a book, and I think it's very interesting. And Focus, I hope everybody at Focus is watching today. You, God, and your dog, and I might add to this, you, God, and your dogs to Susan Liebert, because Susan More than one dog, Multiple yeah. dogs, but this is a book, and it says... That guy to the left is Max on the picture. The book is about my time with Max and how through the years I began to see how similar my relationship with God is when compared to that of my dog. And I thought that's kind of weird. Stories of Max from birth to death and the impact that it had on me. If you have ever had a dog, you might share in these insights and maybe learn a thing or two about God and yourself. It includes a short 14 day reading, the guide that is to encourage you to read God's word. And I, I think it's really cool. I met this gentleman yesterday when we went to sell this property, and he had two beautiful German Shepherds, and one of them looks just like this dog on the front. And I asked him about his dogs, and he said, well, one of them is 12. And I just thought, oh, bless your heart, you'll lose that one before long, because we lost ours at about that age, you know. And I thought, you know, I don't have dogs now. I don't want a dog now. My life isn't fixed for dogs now. Um, I don't have, I'm, I'm here, there, and everywhere. I, I, I couldn't devote the time. 
and I watch you as you give your life to those cats. Y'all, this is the cat lady. She's not the Bible lady, she's the cat, the cat lady. lady. And, and she was, the cats were up at five o'clock this morning and I said, another reason not to have a cat. You know? It was my fault, their crunchies were empty. If I had done my job correctly, they would not have been giving me grief and hassle. Five o'clock in the morning, I'm like, yeah. I don't know. I think I mean, that might be Jeremiah. This is some friends of mine, George and Judy Brinkew, their son Joseph wrote this book. Uh -huh. And it is such an easy, it's a joyful read. Uh -huh. and because most of us, you've had dogs, when you read it, when they die, you, you identify, yeah, yeah, you yeah. identify with what he's saying. And it's um, a lot of times we, God gave us children. Mm -hmm. And that is such a wonderful example to us as humans of how God loves us is our relationship with our, our children. But yeah, it is with our animals too. Mm -hmm. And um, it, his points are just, well, they're, they're cute mm -hmm. and they're funny, mm -hmm. but you're like, you know, I never thought about that. But yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. our relationship with our animals. I don't, I don't know that if you wrote one about cats, it would be this Well, good. if you don't mind, can <laughs> cats I, have an attitude. I, have, I want to take these. I want to give one to Lloyd because yes. we know that um, I had to place her. We had to take her from a home in Atlanta and put her in assisted living, which she was kind of um, not sure what the next path would be because we weren't sure she could keep her dog. And we had to first of all get her dog vaccinated and then we had to have some tests done on the dog. We had different things we had to do to get her dog there. So for the first week, she didn't have her dog. Right. And her roommates around her would stop me in the hall and say, Miss Lori just sits and cries all the time because she didn't have her Fifi. So when you lose an animal to death, that's forever. Do you replace that animal? Do you? Well, you know. Well, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, and and how? And you can't ever replace them because no. it's like Siggy had um, Motley. Motley yeah. You cannot replace Motley because Motley had this amazing. He, he personality. was. He was a special dog. Yeah, yeah, and then he replaces it with this goofy. Now Dexter, <laughs> Dexter. come on, Dexter's a good boy. <laughs> And he's got these big old long legs. He, should, he walks like a giraffe. He's so funny. But he doesn't have the personality that Motley had. Motley had an intelligence about Motley him. Was, Motley was yeah. trained at college with Tori. There you go. That's what it was. Motley had a college yeah. degree. There you go. He was college educated. Yeah. Yeah. But Dexter, he's funny. Dexter, he just seems so happy-go-lucky. And yeah, yeah what, let's is. go do it, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's kind of goofy, but... We're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, you're going to encourage us. Are you going to encourage us? I'm going to encourage. Good. Yeah. We need some encouragement. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? 
Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. of others. Okay, I have a Bible verse before we get started, and thank you, um, Joseph, for, for including this. Philippians 2, 3 through 4, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of the others. Is that not appropriate when we're dealing with helping somebody else to come out of what they're dealing with with Selena? Every single person who has helped, every single person has made a difference, and you are living according to God's Word. And that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do. Okay, now you got some encouragement going on. Well, I actually found uh, a list of prayers. It was on Facebook under David Jeremiah's uh, Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And if you know who David Jeremiah is, he's, he's a great uh, Before you get pastor. started, can we share the thing with Angela? Oh, of course, yeah. Because that would encourage you. It would encourage make you smile. me because when I think about, um, she loved our viewers. She, they loved her. She loved being here. She loved your smiling faces. She loved, and when we had a benefit for her when she was battling cancer, our viewers from everywhere came to that benefit, and and I'm lucky enough to have footage of things like that. She actually, um, y'all helped her through it. She would show me piles and piles of cards, piles and piles of med med messages, and just, and she kept saying, you know, they really care, they really care. And she got stuff from everywhere. And I was like, what an encouragement to somebody, you know, number one, she had stage three cancer, had no idea she had it, got a checkup early, and it was detected. You know, so it was really weird. It was, she was young, she was healthy, and then she gets this diagnosis. And it just went crazy after that. But y'all were encouragers to her, so I think this is appropriate that we show you. And this is a day that my daughter <coughs> just about caused her mama to go over the edge. I was just about to run out of here screaming because she was late. Here we go. Now, Angela is where today? Welcome to North Georgia Now today. Does that look good? Yeah. It looks like Angela's in her seat. Guess what? She's not, guys. For the past where 48 years, Barbie Barn know. has been North Angela Georgia's hunting and fishing action. headquarters. She really just we'll wanted me to show you all this great photo. That's pretty good. Now, Click It did this photo. Looks pretty good, doesn't it, guys? We also have it in black and white. For you folks who are having gardens this year, we decided we would offer you something that not everyone can offer. Not everyone has a scarecrow who looks like this. But uh, what you think about this scarecrow? <laughs> Good Friday to everybody. This is the time people are thinking about gardening, thinking about planting. What you think about that? I think, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Never be in charge of a blind deaf dog. <laughs> forget gets lost in the woods oh no you have been chasing oh candy. no candy we gotta tell y'all this story this is so cool that's why i see you text I'm listen, on the way. listen to this her ex wanted, her ex-husband got on a plane yesterday headed for germany now he yes. was he was headed to germany yes the plane was headed to the tarmac at hartsville where it sat for hours and hours, hours. and hours yes. and when he left he left angela with the blind dog, the well, blind old dog. Yeah. Oh, 
That is funny. I had forgotten how I let in that. that went with the picture, that I yeah. Eight by ten of her sitting there. I forgot all about that. That was classic. But that that was, was good. So funny. And yeah. We just absolutely. I'm so blessed to have those memories on DVD. I know you are. I know you, you are. You think about it, and and somebody said, well, how do you how do you listen to her voice and it not bother you? And I said, oh my God, it's such an encouragement. Because she was smart, she she got her daddy's brains, which worried me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was very very intelligent, but the man had zero common sense, and um, it tickled me because she would just ace every test and just smart as a whip. But then it was like, Angela, it's raining. You might not want to go out there and do that. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> okay, yeah, and it's raining. I can see the <laughs> wisdom in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's get to encouraging others. Well, and you know, as you were talking I was thinking another way to encourage each other is to what, what do they say don't sweat the small stuff right you right. know because it is live television and I don't know to most of us having a TV show is kind of a big deal I don't have one <laughs> um, you get to be here <laughs> well I get to be on time because I ride with you yeah so you know and I'm not taking it lightly or that you you know are late regularly, and right, that's not what right. I'm saying. But when things do happen, it was funny. It, it was, a was funny. funny. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it yes. was a joke. Yeah, it was, yeah. you know, yeah. or it was unintentional. You know, right. it may have resulted in something uh, negative, but we could encourage one another and encourage ourselves mm -hmm, by mm -hmm. just not taking everything so seriously. Yeah. The serious things need to be taken seriously. Yeah, yeah. Devote your seriousness. Yeah. Just what should be serious. Well, serious yeah. And then yeah. It, in the, um, the little things, just... Mama used to say that all the time, don't sweat the small stuff. And, and I was like, what does that mean, Mama? And yeah. she said, oh, you wait. You'll, 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 get, you'll it. get it. Yeah. And I did, I did. Because there are so many, and, and it's just like the wake-up call we've all had. Because Selena is younger than me, she's a little bit younger than you, and she wasn't feeling well, and she got this diagnosis. So we all know that the small stuff could... could come big stuff really really quickly and so don't let the little stuff get to you because you better save all your power and all your energy and all your strength because the big stuff might come along right and you're going to need that and i have to say to the beautiful beautiful young lady who runs robin's nest in uh, jasper oh my god her, she has the most mesmerizing eyes i've ever seen they remind me of my beautiful daughter Aww. When I walk in there and I see her gorgeous blue eyes and I just think of Angela and I just, it, it's almost, it's weird because she runs a florist and she does beautiful work and I'm standing there looking at her eyes and thinking they look just like my daughter's. And she's a florist and, and she does florist, beautiful and work. And it was yeah. very, yes, yes, so she, she is lifting my spirits just seeing her. She's been an encouragement to me that um, life goes on. You know, life goes on, and, and I did donate Angela's eyes, and so it was weird because seeing those blue eyes, I thought somewhere in this world, someone has Angela's blue eyes, and that's just, it's kind of an encouragement, a bit of an encouragement. It is. I, somebody I read, else is benefiting. Yeah, so. I, I saw something the other day online. Um, it was the parents of the young lady who, who their daughter died in a car accident mm -hmm. and they donated you know Everything her heart can, yes. and the person that had received her heart wrote them a letter and said I understand you know if, that you wouldn't want to meet me or you know possibly blah, blah, but just I want you to know how grateful I am to your daughter mm -hmm. and to you you know for being willing to do that and went on and shared a little bit about I can't remember if it was a man or a woman, but mm -hmm. you know about their life and mm -hmm. what they were able to do now. <clears throat> and they uh, said, "I will take care of your daughter's heart. Mm -hmm. I will not. Wow. You know, I'll take care of my health. Yeah. And it will. You know, I'll just take care of your daughter's heart. Yeah. It was so moving. Yeah. And uh, again, I have seen where parents meet the person mm -hmm. who received, and, I've and seen they that. use that stethoscope and listen. Yeah. 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 I don't. I don't know. I. Uh, Tough. It, it would be. I can see where that would be an individual thing. Mm -hmm. You know, some people are up yeah. to it, and some people are not, yeah. and that's okay either way. If you are, yeah. that's great, yeah. and if you're yeah. not, that's yeah. great. Yeah. But um, at Bible study yesterday, you know how I love my Bible study, and it. it do not forsake yourselves, you know, from getting together. Mm -hmm. it, it, that's true. We need each other, and we encourage each other. But it was just—it was an encouraging day for me 
um, because the Spirit of God was just so strong in our, you know, His presence mm. was so strong as we were um, having our, our, we call it Bible study. It's, it's a whole lot more than a Bible study. Mm -hmm. um, but on the car, or rather in the car on my way, the, a song came on, uh, Waymaker, Chainbreaker. I can't, it's either the Crabs or Third Day, somebody mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. on Christian Radio was singing, um, If You've Got Chains, He's a Chainbreaker. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just had a Holy Ghost revival there in the car. The Holy Spirit was just so strong. And it wasn't long. You know, I, I wish we could walk around every day mm -hmm. And we do, we walk around, you know, full with the Holy Spirit in us. But those moments of, you know, His presence is so strong and you're, you just, the love is so overwhelming. The joy is so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was just wonderful. And I was encouraged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, just for that, you know, short moment, mm -hmm. I knew it was Him. Mm -hmm. You know, when you walk with God, you know, you talk to him all the time. You know he's there, mm -hmm. but those moments, they're special. It's mm -hmm. almost like Valentine's Day or your birthday or mm -hmm. something, you know, and he gives you a gift. Mm -hmm. And it, it was just so, it was just wonderful. And we talked about that yesterday, about how we need to encourage one another as believers. Uh, we need to encourage the people that we love. And because of everything that's going on in the world, it's kind of hard to not be anxious and yeah. to not be yeah. a little bit concerned. Yep. You know, uh, people are feeling a little bit a little bit better now because it seems like, you know, the mandates are going away. And, and we still have people in the hospital in critical condition. It's so mm -hmm. weird. It's so weird. Oh, don't get me started on all that. Yeah, so there was, weird. I will mention this for people who don't know because the news media did not carry it. I believe the only news uh, outlet that carried the uh, Senate hearing on Monday mm -hmm. was OAN. Mm -hmm. I don't think even Newsmax <coughs> carried it. But people are not hearing the truth about some things. And you talk about being encouraged. Listening, it was uh, Senator Ron Johnson had, I believe it was four or five hours of testimony from many, many different doctors mm -hmm. and many different uh, specialists and experts, people at the highest echelons of science mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, who have an alternative view <coughs> to what a lot of us are hearing in the news. They, mm -hmm. they only, the news only reports what they're told to report. Right. And there's a whole lot more going on and Senator Johnson is aware of this and he's trying to get the, the information out to the public. Mm -hmm. And being encouraged was listening to those people tell the truth. People dying unnecessarily mm -hmm. can stop today. Mm -hmm. It can stop today. Uh, the original COVID virus was extremely deadly because nobody knew a whole lot about it. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, a lot of things didn't happen that could have, but nobody knew. Right. As time has gone by, there are treatments and there are treatments that work. We have entire countries in this world who have brought their COVID um, incidents down to zero. Right. Down Same to zero. Yeah. And if a <clears throat> country with a billion people can go from you know, flaming fire to nothing. Right. You know, it works. There are there. There's that's encouraging to me because at one time, if you had said, like my mom when she was uh, tested positive for COVID back last fall, over 80 years old, and you were worried too. Deep. I was. I, yeah. You know, I didn't want to tell her how scared I was. <laughs> we were all scared because yeah. I know what your mama means to you. But I knew I had enough information because I had been doing the research and watching and listening and reading the articles mm -hmm. from alternative news sources. I knew that there was medication and treatment out there to help her, mm -hmm. and she went and got it. We found where mm -hmm. she could go mm -hmm. and get it. Mm -hmm. She got it, and she got better almost immediately. Right. Now, did she feel 100% immediately? No, no. She and my brother both, they had it bad. They had a, I'm assuming they had the Delta variant, mm -hmm. and it was, it was really bad. Yeah. But anyway, I thought that was encouraging, and if you can find um, somewhere online the Ron Johnson Senate hearing on uh, 
the, I guess the progression mm -hmm. of the COVID, of the pandemic, you know, it's <laughs> right, out there. Right. You just, you Googled um, Ron Johnson, Senator Ron Johnson, you'll find yeah. it. And it I was very encouraging. I have a beautiful friend up in uh, Blue Ridge and, and she keeps saying, come and have lunch, come and have lunch, come and have lunch. And I said, well, we can go so-and-so and eat. She said, no. She said, she's, I hate to say her age, maybe, maybe she's 80, I don't know. But she's beautiful and, and I just love Camille so much. And, and she said, come to my house. And she, she has a 360 degree view of the mountain. Oh, wow. And I said, well, I will, but I have to bring you because we have to enjoy this whole experience. And she said she would prepare lunch for us because she is compromised health wise. Oh. She doesn't go out now. And we're seeing that with a lot of people still. And I understand that. I do, well, you know, during cold and flu season, sure, you know, like sure. we were talking about the flu. At church two years ago, mm -hmm. I told the preacher, I said, I love you, but I don't hug during October through January because it's flu season. And he well, laughed. Yeah, but, and we've learned but some. But we understand that. But we also, again, when you listen to these experts on virology and how viruses work and how herd immunity works and how things in nature work. Again, it was just very encouraging because even though, um, yeah, I don't want to go there because it gets political. People are, are afraid. You don't have to be afraid. If you find out the facts and you know the truth, I think it's fine, especially for somebody that's doing chemo. They wear masks anyway, right. way before right. COVID. You know, yeah. there are some common sense things. If you are compromised right. or Take if you're high yourself. risk, yeah wear the mask you know I personally from the studies I've seen you know but if it if it helps at all you know mm -hmm. if it helps you feel better that's fine I still you know wash my hands and oh, do yeah. that thing yeah. and there are studies that say no it, it's aerosol mm -hmm. it it is airborne it can get into the fluid in your eyes that's one of the reasons that the vaccines have not been as effective as they thought they would be mm -hmm. because they do nothing to ch the, the spike protein plan didn't work out like they thought it was going to basically mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the mucous membranes in your eyes your nose there are special um, T cells that live in there and they're being they're they're Regardless, you can get sick, even though you have the spike mm -hmm. proteins mm -hmm. in your body. Because you can't wear a mask over your eyes. Yeah, well, you could, and maybe <laughs> some people do. Emily would love me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can do this. I can do this. Um, but yeah, again, I, I didn't mean to go into all that, but I was encouraged because there is hope. We do not have to live in fear in this world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, does that mean bad things don't happen to good people? And sure. you know, we know too many people that have died. Uh, I personally feel that that could have been mitigated. Mm -hmm. Not for everybody. I, I tell you, last night I had him on my heart so strong. The lead singer for Glory Bound that he he went on to do his own original music and wrote amazing original. You talk about a talented man. Yeah. He died of COVID last year. He was freshly, newly married. He had children from a previous marriage that he sang with. He sang in churches all over North Georgia, all over the world. And he's gone, he's gone, and it just broke my heart. Well, and that's why, again, it, God says, do not let the sun go down on your anger. It's hard not to be angry is, because a lot of people hurtful. died and they yeah. didn't have to. Yeah. And that's, you know, the question that was asked repeatedly during this five hour Senate hearing. I mean, it's a Senate mm -hmm. hearing. Mm -hmm. This is not, you know, conspiracy right. stuff. They're, right. uh, the question is why, why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you watch all of those people give their testimonies mm -hmm. about, and these are doctors that are treating people and keeping them alive. Right. Um, and it's working. And they're being threatened to have their licenses pulled. Mm -hmm. They're threatened, you know, pharmacists won't fill their <clears throat> prescriptions. All this, it, it's bizarre. It's mm -hmm. truly, truly mm -hmm. bizarre. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that, you know, common sense or logic would read, uh, lead you to would be, well, it's for profit. Mm -hmm. And, and we're going to end on this because I want to I share something. I had a conversation with somebody a couple of years ago. I mean, a couple of days ago, years, yeah, a couple of days ago. And we were talking about <clears throat> cancer and um, things that happen. And my husband, who was a common sense guy, the day that the doctor said, you need to go home and prepare to say goodbye to your family, we got in the car and my common sense husband said, how much has my insurance paid out on me yet? 
and I told him, and he said, that must be the price of my life. And I said, what? And he said, why are they giving up on me? He said, I haven't given up, and God hasn't given up. Why have they given up on me? And I said, I don't know. And then we thought about it, and this week we're having this conversation, and <clears throat> there is a dollar involved. There is a dollar involved. You know, and there's also, sometimes it's just human error. My understanding is the third leading cause of death in the United States is medical error. Wow. You know what wow. happened with Don. Wow, yes. You know what yes. happened with yes. Don. You know, Your husband died purely for medical error. Yeah. Well, and, and we, um, again, this is all time. supposed to be, uh, you know, time. my message is, in, is <laughs> encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, again, we can be encouraged. I, I opened to uh, Joshua chapter 1, and I'm not going to read it all, but basically Moses died, uh -huh. and Joshua was, was now in charge. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, man, I'm not Moses. I can't do this. Oh, no. You know, he was overwhelmed. And God said, be strong and of good courage. Be strong and of good courage. He says it over and over and over. And uh, he says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even, you know, when, when we don't, uh, what's that song, uh, if he chooses not to move in the way we prayed mm -hmm. he would? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm confident he's working all together <laughs> for my good. Mm -hmm. And yesterday in Bible study, as we were just talking about all the challenges, you know, the Bible reminds us we're, we are spirit beings living in a body with a soul, which is our personality, our, you know, mm -hmm. thinking mm -hmm. mechanisms, mm -hmm. you know, we can't. We can't explain it because, you know, God created us and, mm -hmm. you know, it's above our pay grade, mm -hmm. as they would say. Mm -hmm. um, we know from Scripture, you know, the, it tells us in several Scriptures, we always go to Galatians, but also in Colossians and in other places in the New Testament, we live in a multi-dimensional universe. Mm -hmm. Scientists have already <coughs> confirmed this. They say they've discovered up to, they believe, 11 dimensions. I don't know how they do that. How do you, you know, I don't know. But anyway, our spirit knows that there is a war going on that we cannot see. And I told you the story, I think, over the weekend of Elijah, mm -hmm. how uh, little Israel was going up. I think it was the king of Babylon. It was the king of one of these great big kingdoms, and they're going out and conquering everybody. And Israel keeps beating them. And the king is like, what's going on? There's something going on. Mm -hmm. uh, and they said, well, he, they, Israel has a prophet named Elijah, and God talks to him and tells him everything you're going to do before you do it. Mm -hmm. And so they're prepared, and they're ready, and they either escape or they beat us. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll just find this Elijah. We'll take care of this problem. And so the king, they go, and they find Elijah in his little house, you know, mm -hmm. having a nap or whatever. And he's like, well, you know, we're going to have to kill you because this can't, we can't continue mm -hmm. with this. Can't trust you. And Elijah <laughs> prayed, and he said, Lord, open their eyes so that they can see into the spirit realm and they can see who they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. They're not dealing with Israel. They're not dealing with me. They're dealing with you. Show mm -hmm. them. Show mm -hmm. them what they're up against. Mm -hmm. And God did. And he opened their eyes and the king saw chariots of fire and cherubim and, you know, scary stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and he's okay. All right. Gotcha. Got Bye. You. I understand. You know. <laughs> I got it. Just, you won't hear from us anymore. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. they left Elijah alone. I got it. And uh, I, got I think it. after that, Israel, you know, had a break for a while. But we sense, and I think we, we uh, you watch the news, you get heavy hearted. Mm -hmm. You listen to uh, you, the people who have, like we've been talking about with this virus stuff. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. If you have a loved one, and I have f suffered from that that died and you think they could have been alive mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. things had... If, if, medical, yeah, medical mistakes. You know, that is hard to live with. It's almost like living with murder. Mm -hmm. You know, how do you get over someone murdering your loved one, mm -hmm. you know, because they died unnecessarily. Um, that, that causes anxiety. There's er everything going on. I think there's something going on with Russia currently. Mm -hmm. and it's like, would you please go to the southern border and put some troops there? Don't worry about Ukraine's border. 
worry about our border. Uh, you know, all these different things going on and it's hard to be encouraged and it's easy to be anxious and worry, worry, worry. Mm -hmm. I do it. I worry. I worry about my kids. You know, I worry, oh, yeah. what's the future hold for my granddaughter? What's mm -hmm. the future hold for little recommend? Right, right. And um, uh, you, it's hard not to. And we forget, number one, I think part of the heaviness that we feel is just like that king who had his eyes opened and mm -hmm. could see what's going on. How often do we say, oh, that's the devil messing with me. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. stuff happens and stuff mm -hmm. happens. Mm -hmm. And we don't give enough credit mm -hmm. to the good guys mm -hmm. that's doing battle on our behalf in the spiritual mm -hmm. realm. And, I thought, and speaking of good guys, I have, I have to do a shout out to Lydia Dockery Long. Um, her precious brother Asa lost his wife Debbie a couple mm -hmm. of years ago. Yeah. I still cannot believe that Debbie's not alive. That was so I, sudden. I expect yeah. to see her walk in this door dressed to the nines and, and I just, I loved her. I loved her so much. And this Thursday night, they're having a women's event at their church. Thursday night, uh, y'all go if you live in the North Market. I can't go, it's too far for me to drive, can't see. But if you, if you want to be encouraged by women, World Harvest Church North is that group of women who lift and encourage, and I can't tell you what they mean to me. Amazing, amazing women who lift each other. And women we need, need women. We women need, need women. We need that, yes. And I don't mean yeah. that in any kind of sensual way. Women are, are designed to talk a lot. To help each other. And yeah. to, you know, yeah. do the men, things that men aren't designed to do. And yeah, and women. God did make us different. Well, you know, in the book of <laughs> Titus, um, God tells the older women, use the wisdom that you have gained and teach it to the younger women. Mm -hmm. Now our younger women of today would go eh, because it says how to keep your home and how to raise your children and how to be a good wife and with feminism, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, I think basically the good things about being a woman, you know, and, and share your wisdom. Mm -hmm. And I know from my personal experience, you're, you've got to make your own mistakes. Mm -hmm. You're going to do what you're mm -hmm. going to do. Um, but then there might be one word of wisdom that you listen to that saves you a little bit of grief or a bit of, you know, whatever trouble down the road. And that's men too. You know, the Bible tells us, teach not just your children, but younger people. Mm -hmm. Share your mm -hmm. wisdom and mm -hmm. share biblical wisdom. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, there's been a meme going around forever. Teach your kids about Jesus. Uh, because they're going to need him. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, the mm -hmm. enemy, mm -hmm. if you don't teach your kid about Jesus, mm -hmm. the enemy's going to teach them about him. You right. know, the, right. the, the devil is everywhere. Yeah. But yeah. Um, this, the, the prayers. And the devil, let, let's talk about the devil attacking the weakest link because we have to stay strong and protect ourselves because I think the devil sees when you become weak. Well, I but, became weak and I saw the devil coming after me. You, we, the way we protect December ourselves. December and January is like the month that I, I, you know, and then for things to go and at you and at you and at you, I saw the devil coming after me, and I almost let him catch me, and that scared me. Oh my I, gosh, that scared you me. know, I, and, and again, I'm, I'm not reluctant, but I'm, I try to be careful. Uh, because I, I have a very high degree of uh, respect for psychology because I know mental illness is real. Mm -hmm. But I also know that the demonic is real. Oh, yes. And if you uh, these days say anything about the devil coming after you, you know, if you're a believer and you've experienced it, I told you about, you know, the time Don looked at me and he said, this is the devil, isn't it? And I'm mm -hmm. like, yep, this mm -hmm. is the devil. You yeah. can tell. You can yeah. When it gets that crazy, mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. the devil. Mm -hmm. uh, and he does attack us at our weaker points. But the way that we take care of ourselves is always to be in prayer asking God to take care of us. Because mm -hmm. we can't take care of ourselves outside of the Word of God and outside of the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. um, not the way we want to be taken care of anyway. If you, if you want solutions to problems, uh, pray and ask God. Mm -hmm. And I've said on this program before, the principles of God work even if you're not a believer. Mm -hmm. You know, you can read the word and <clears throat> you, uh, how many people go to a Tony Robbins or a, you know, a self-help thing? Oh, if I had the money I spent mm -hmm. on those stupid <laughs> books, 
<laughs> but they, I can't really say they were stupid because, you know, they were helpful mm -hmm. from because he was sharing his wisdom. Mm -hmm. And no, it was not in a, a religious or a Christian perspective. Uh, it was in a, a, a secular, humanist kind of way. But the principles still worked, mm -hmm. just like what you read a while ago. Um, what was it? Uh, all success is due to luck. Ask mm -hmm. any failure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that that's a good word because mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. have to work for your success. Yep. God yep. can send you a little blessing here and a little blessing there and you can call it luck or call it whatever. But yeah, you have to work. Mm -hmm. And we have to, um, the Bible says, stir up the Holy Spirit in you. That's our work. Mm -hmm. Our work mm -hmm. for the Lord should be spiritual work mm -hmm. that keeps us closer to Him. And prayer, you know, this, this, if you read through this, you, God, and your dog, it just, it is so clear how much God loves us mm -hmm. and how much he's willing to do. No, he's not going to give you everything. You don't give your kid everything. Mm -mm, You'd mm -mm. spoil them rotten and they'd be worthless. Mm -hmm. He's not going to do that. You know, because we have free will on this earth and on this planet, sometimes the world just has to go around and you deal with mm -hmm. what goes with it. Mm -hmm. And he said, I will be with you. You know, just like the three Hebrew children in the furnace, I'll be with you. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus said, and Jesus was quoting the Old Testament to anybody that doubts, you know, if the word of God is true and inerrant and everything. Jesus validated the Old Testament. He quoted from it quite often. And one of those quotes was, I will never leave you or forsake you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And knowing that, I wish I could say it means you'll never feel anxious. It means you'll never grieve. It means you'll never No, Unfortunately, that's not how it works. And people, well, well, what's the point of having God then? Well, because he's God mm -hmm. and he created you. I think so often we look at it from a consumer point. Mm -hmm. Okay, God, let me see. What's he going to do for me? Well, he's going to save you from hell. Mm -hmm. and you get to live for eternity with him. Mm -hmm. And if he never does anything else. <laughs> you got it. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So go with that. Go yeah. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, just, just being encouraged that the Lord is real. You know, I think it's in Hebrews. It said, you know, the, the first thing for somebody to, you know, have salvation and, and enjoy the fruits of the Lord, you have to believe God is. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people these days, they don't believe God is. Mm -hmm. However it happened, uh, the church's voice, the body, when I say church, I'm not talking about Baptist, Methodist, I'm talking about us, the mm -hmm. believers mm -hmm. in Christ. Mm -hmm. We have not been able to get our message out for some reason, and I think we've been so pounded by our culture that you can't offend anybody. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, they're going to be offended by me. Mm -hmm. They're going to hate you for my name's sake. But if they do, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Because if they hate you for my name's sake and for what you're saying in, in my defense or in, in, you know, from my word, you know, I'll, I'll reward okay. you for that. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. 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 Um, and we need to, as believers, keep each other encouraged so that we can then have the strength and the boldness to go out and talk about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when you go out and do that, you need to be prayed up. You need to be encouraged. And like I said, these prayers, um, I, I love David Jeremiah. He is an excellent teacher. And this is a list that was on Facebook. And I think, let me see what here, uh, 10 different prayers mm -hmm. of encouragement. Mm -hmm. But the two that I would like to read out loud, uh, number one, Lord, you promise never to leave me alone nor to abandon me in my time of need. Even when I can't feel your presence, I know you are near. Your promises are true. Thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. Teach my heart to rest in your presence and not to be afraid or anxious. I will trust in you. And then the scripture reference given is Deuteronomy 31.6 and Hebrews 13.5. And that's just like yesterday, when I had that moment with the Lord, with the Holy Spirit, that's like, I don't know, it's like chocolate you know it's like that you know when I have my death row meal my my whopper fries and chocolate shake you know yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. so good yeah and it's uh, that it's like a vitamin it's you know it's so 
And unless you're walking with God and you're praying to God, and I can only speak to myself, for myself, most of the time I'm praying for me. Mm -hmm. You know, oh Lord, help me, help me, do this, do that. Uh, uh, instead of just saying, oh Lord, I love you. I heard that song and it just really struck me how much mm -hmm. God loves me, mm -hmm. what he paid for my salvation on mm -hmm. the cross. You know, when's the last time you heard a sermon about Jesus dying on the cross and shedding his blood? You know, when you tell somebody today, Jesus bought you with his blood. Mm -hmm. <gasps> well, that sounds kind of weird. You know, mm -hmm. that no, you mm -hmm. got to get in the scripture and understand Jesus was never murdered. Jesus made himself a sacrifice mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. And knowing you might not love him back. I've seen that as a meme before too. Mm -hmm. He died for you knowing you might never love him back. Mm -hmm. Now that's love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was just so overwhelmed and encouraged and, and grateful. Because if he loves me enough to do that, he loves me enough to take care of me while I'm here. He does. Even if I don't feel his presence. You got room for one more prayer. Okay. Lord, oh, and this is today because everything's so crazy. Lord, you promise to enact justice. Mm -hmm. One day your truth will be proclaimed throughout the world. When the time is right, you will destroy evil forever. I cry out to you as the great judge who upholds justice and mercy. God, I trust you to avenge the evil that has touched my life. Thank you that final justice is not my responsibility. I will strive to live at peace with everyone, knowing vengeance is yours. Lord, I trust your timing your power, and your promises. Wow, wow. Because oh, okay. we see evil win all the time. And it'll do. make you crazy. We do. It'll make you crazy. Okay, guys, I want to remind you, um, we have over 550 programs on YouTube now. We are working to get them all on one channel because we are getting a lot of activity. Please get on YouTube and subscribe to us. And it is Sherry Martin is one of our pages, one of our, um, what do you call those, Tim? Pages, pages, channels, channels, and the other one is Sherry Martin 2009 that was designed here by one of our, um, I guess one of our producers did that years ago, and we're trying to link the two, and then also we started the new one when we, I started cooking with Riker, and we started putting uh, Sherry Martin on Heart of the Home because we chose some Heart of the Homes and then blended them with Riker. There's something about a kid in a kitchen. He is so much fun and he loves it, but you should have seen the day that I was introducing him to Nathan's Hot Dogs. And he went, yuck. And I'm like, yuck? How can anybody say yuck to a Nathan's hot dog? Are you crazy, kid? What's wrong with you? Oh, he's so funny. But I, I just thought, all kids love hot dogs, not Riker John Martin. He doesn't like hot dogs. And I'm like, oh, oh last week. I had his barbecue potato chips. Uh -huh. You know what he said? No. Where's the hotter ones? Uh, oh, yes, because Nanny gets the sweet heat. Is that? Nanny gets the sweet heat. He said, heat. where are the hotter ones? <laughs> I'm like, Nanny well, buddy, I'm heat. so sorry. I was not prepared. <laughs> Nanny gets the sweet heat. That is so funny. Well, guess yes. who has them now? Yes, I know. Because <laughs> she tries to, we, we're like battling, dueling. She keeps him so busy, place, place, place. I try to keep him in the kitchen. We want him active and busy and enjoying his life. And this week, we have to say, he hasn't had much joy because his mama's been really sick with some kind of crud and not COVID. She tested negative, so yay for that. But um, please say a prayer for Catherine and for Riker, and we hope to get him back. I didn't get to keep him yesterday because she was sick and didn't want to bring the germs around. So... But, um, you know, what a joy, what a joy a child is. What a joy um, love is. What a joy music is. There are so many things that bring joy to us. And, and you and I are going to spend some time. I've got a whole bunch of 45 records from my era. And I'm going to play trivia with you. And I'm going to get you to see if you know any of them. And I bet you you won't know many. I'll know you're, some. You're a 70s girl. And you liked the 70s music. Is that right? But you know they played. They the played 70s. a lot of '60s <laughs> in the '70s. Yeah, yeah, but come yeah. on, '70s was that. I mean, that was the era. There'll never be another yeah. rock and roll yeah. or any yeah. kind of music like there was in the '70s. In the 70s. Think 70s. about it. Yeah, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy. Well, we're going to leave you now where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. You know, um, what a blessing. What a blessing it is to see the sun today. What a blessing it is to have my bestie here with me today and to Shirley Singleton and to Shirley Newton. I love you both. Um, Y'all are just such encouragers to me. 
and to so many other people, to Sandra Coley over in Gainesville, who her husband is battling. I love Jack. I used to sit near them in church, and I love them so much. And to my church family at Ball Ground First Baptist, y'all are the coolest people. I am so blessed. Um, I was a member of a different church for many years, and I joined there, and God, I love those folks. Just a good, good group of people. So everybody have a blessed day today, and I'm going to have a blessed day because it's going to be blessed with some slaw from Mike. Mike. I'll see you again Mike. soon. Only on ETC. Bye, y'all.